well as you might have gathered it's an absolutely beautiful late May day today yesterday I came here to Clipson Old Quarter to survey for Cryptocephalus Quirketti and was successful at least with two individuals on one branch because the weather's so good it's ideal for surveying and I know the beetles are out now I'm going to go round a different area starting with this tree here which I haven't had a proper look at yet because it's only just sort of gained the full leaf and then having tried this tree we're going along towards the black pool on the or in the plantation to your left there are a few trees tucked away because Quirketti likes ancient oaks but I think it's even more specific as to which oaks it likes than we imagine. Once having checked the trees in this section we're going over there over the track into Black Ball Plantation itself. Now there are a few ancient oaks tucked away in there. The most likely ones to hold Quirketti maybe the ones on this side of the track that take the full heat of the sun and are well protected by the silver birches around. So that's the plan. But you know what can happen to plans, especially when I'm involved. This is another tree that's been haloed, well, two years ago, winter of 2021 to 2022. Now, it appears to have created the ideal habitat for Quirketti. But whether Quirketti is here or not is probably unlikely. Now, Cryptocephalus beetles, they have a reputation for being crap flyers, to put it bluntly. They can fly. They can fly quite well. It surprised us when we saw Cryptocephalus coralli fly. But Quirketti seems more reluctant than coralli to fly, and it's the males that probably do most of the flying in search for the females. Female Cryptocephalus beetles tend to once have located a suitable branch they'll stay on that branch for anything upwards of a week or so and it's the males the males will fly around you can see them with binoculars and a telescope you can see them flying around well tall birches in the case of coral eye but I dare say Quirketti will do the same the males will fly fairly close to the foliage and when they see a female, they basically just parachute down and jump on top. So they can fly, but it's going to be in the hottest of conditions. Once again, lots of things on the sheet, on the tray, but not our target.
Now you may wonder why I don't check the sheet very quickly. That's largely because I'm not really particularly worried about Quirketti flying off. A lot of other species will do, but I'm quite confident that if Quirketti was indeed on here, then it would stay on here at least for several minutes. And the news is that Quirketti isn't on this tree, or at least on the branches at the base of this tree. Of course, it doesn't mean to say that in a week's time, or even tomorrow, if I were to come back and beat that tree, Quirketti could be on it, but I don't think so because I think adult Quirketis are quite stationary and sedentary, to be honest. And they'll, they'll fly a little bit, but I think any flight is going to be very limited. Well, I've done both the trees now in this clearing, another clearing which has been created when these two trees were haloed. There's quite a few other trees here, but they're all long since dead. And there's no growth on them and no suitable growth elsewhere. You didn't see me do the tree directly in front. I thought I won't bother filming that, but the one that you did see me beat was the one in the back there to the left of this ancient that's in the foreground. And I think that that's this area of Clipson Old Quarter and the Birklands West and Ollerton Corner Triple SI. I think that's this bit covered. So now it's over to Blackpool Plantation. Now, I don't think from memory there will be many trees suitable. There's not a great number of agents in Blackpool Plantation. And once we've gone through there, that'll be it for today. So time to move on. Once again, when I'm out here doing this kind of work, I do realise how privileged I am. Having worked in a factory, in people's homes, and on a parks department all a long time ago, thank goodness. And then I get the chance to work in this kind of place, it's absolutely beautiful. And it is a privilege. I appreciate these surroundings and how lucky I am. It's not a bad office, is it? Right, we'll see if we can get to this one.
nothing. No burketti. At least on these two trees. Into Blackpool Plantation now, come away from the front edge, and this is probably the perfect example of epicormic growth. Technically, this seems absolutely ideal. Lots of fresh epicormic growth all the way up this old ancient trunk. So it's a visual search first and then just to make sure we'll have a couple of goes with a beating tray. It has been nibbled by deer and I would suggest road deer because it's the grazing only comes up to here. It's either roe deer and probably monk jack as well. Reds haven't touched it, otherwise this would be eaten as well. Well, I don't want to be too long here because there's a chiff chaff alarm calling, which means obviously that there's a nest somewhere close by we'll see if there's oats on it There is. It's a quirketty just there. Don't know how well you can see this, but that's Quirketti. That's brilliant. I thought we were going to be fruitless today. And I was anticipating being fruitless for Quirketti. And then along comes that. Now, this means well, this is a new area technically for Quirketti. Dillis and myself only had it in the other part, Clipsal Quarter there. Never had it here in Blackpool Plantation. That's brilliant. So here's that Quirketti. I'm absolutely chuffed. I didn't think for a minute that it would be in here. Now she's playing hide and seek, but it looks the same size as the two that we got yesterday in yesterday's survey. It's
I know it's not much to look at, but it's as good as any of those brown beetles that are saproxylic. Not enough thought is given to the other beetles and insects of Sherwood Forest. Well, I'm really chuffed with that. That makes everything worthwhile and it spurs me on. After a while of not finding what you're after, you start to get a bit sort of forlorn and downbeat and then all of a sudden you find it when you're not expecting. That's what recorded invertebrate does, but at least now we have a, a great idea of perhaps the ideal kind of tree. Well protected, it has, has been haloed, this tree, and it'd be about three years ago, this. This is one of the earlier ones in this area to get haloed. But you've got cover and shelter all around the back of this tree and indeed around the front of it. But there's been a, several years long enough for the beetle to move in unless it was here all along. And this growth, this epicorbic growth here is absolutely ideal. It's fresh and young. So in a way, really, I shouldn't be surprised, but I've tried similar trees, not with the amount of epicormic growth on, and had no luck. I do with finding a few more trees like this, but I need to work my way through the back to where it opens out a bit, and then see if there's any more suitable trees. But we have two trees now in Sherwood Forest that are supporting Quirketti. Well, I'm deep into Blackpool Plantation and there's the odd ancient, well two here look, and this near one does have a bit of epicormic growth on it but it's grown in shade and I have beat it but there is no Quirketti on it and I think that's entirely because it's in the shade there's nothing suitable to beat or nothing low enough to be able to see Quirketti on, on the other tree. But it's extremely dense around it. You get an idea just to the left there. Lots of young pines and young birch. So these two trees, not suitable and nothing on. Well, we're back where we started this video. That's the tree and the path that bisects part of Clipson Old Quarter and Blackpool Plantation is just in front. Covered the bottom half of Blackpool Plantation, but on the next survey, I will check trees along the southern edge of Blackpool Plantation along this ride that's in front and to the right of us. And then I want to check at the top, the top part of Blackpool Plantation and then after that depending on what time we've got on the next survey we'll probably go back and check in the area that we surveyed yesterday which was the 25th of May but a profitable survey another Quirketti in a new area that we've never recorded it before so I can't complain about that 